Hello students, I am Anjana Kavati, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, AITM, Belgavi. Let us continue with the video lectures on computer organization. I am discussing the concepts from module number 5, the basic processing unit. In the last video, we have seen execution of a complete instruction, a very important concept. So in this video, I will be explaining about branch instructions okay uh, so a branch instruction replaces the contents of the pc with the branch target address so this address is usually obtained by adding the offset say x which will be given in the branch instruction uh, this value will be added to the updated value of pc okay so in order to understand this topic you need to go through the previous video that is execution of a complete instruction okay uh, so uh, this branch address will be obtained by adding the offset value which which will be given in the branch instruction so this value will be added to the updated value of the pc that is program counter then after adding you will be get what address is obtained that will be nothing but the branch address branch target address okay so in the figure below that is 7.7 uh, .7 from the textbook it shows the control sequence for an unconditional branch instruction here we are taking example of uncondi un unconditional branch instruction okay so uh, the processing starts as usual with the fetch phase like in the previous video we have seen that there will be a fetch phase and then there will be instruction fetch phase and then there will be instruction execution phase so here also the process usually starts with the fetch phase so this pro this phase will end uh, when the instruction is loaded into ir in step 3 so the first three steps will remain same here also okay so this phase will end when the instruction is loaded into ir in the step 3 then uh, the offset value will be extracted from the ir by the instruction decoding circuit how the offset value is of extracted is that is with the help of instruction decoding circuit which will also perform the sign extensions if required what is sign extension uh, the sign extension you have studied in your basics so uh, if that is also required that will be done by this uh, decoding circuit itself okay so uh, then uh, since the value of the updated pc is already available in the register y so directly the offset x is gated onto the bus in the step 4 we assume that uh, the updated pc value will be already available in register y so then we just need to gate this offset x value into the bus this will be done in step 4 okay so and uh, then an addition operation is performed okay so you can see offset of ir out comma add comma z in okay after loading this uh, offset value we are going to perform uh, an add operation okay then the result which is nothing but the branch target address it is loaded into the pc that is in the step 5 okay Uh, now this offset x is used that is used in a branch instruction is usually the difference between the branch target and the address immediately following the branch instruction so that is nothing but the offset okay it is nothing but the difference between the branch target address and the address immediately following the branch instruction okay for example if the branch instruction is at location 2000 and if the branch target address is 2050 then the value of x must be 46 okay so the reason for this can be uh, readily appreciated from the control sequence that was shown in the figure 7.7 .7 because the pc is incremented during the fetch phase before knowing the type of the instruction being executed please make a note of this the pc value is incremented during the fetch phase before knowing the type of the instruction that is being executed okay so thus uh, when the branch address is computed in step 4 the pc value is used the pc value that is used is the updated value which points to the instruction following the branch instruction in the memory
okay so this pc value that is used is nothing but the updated value which will be pointing to the instruction that is following the branch instruction in the memory okay so let us take one uh, conditional branch example so now uh, let us consider a conditional branch so in this case what we need to do is we need to check the status of the condition codes before loading a new value into the pc basically there are two things one is uh, unconditional branch and then conditional branch unconditional branch is what we are not specifying any condition for the branch okay uh, whereas in conditional branch we are going to specify some condition to the branch in that case we need to check the condition codes all the condition codes before loading a new value into the pc okay for example for branch on negative condition is branch on negative represented as branch less than zero okay uh, for that instruction uh, consider the same control sequence uh, in step four what we need to replace is uh, the offset uh, offset field of ir out comma add comma z in if n equal to zero then end Uh, so the step four is written as offset field of ir out comma add comma z in if n equal to zero then end okay so this thus uh, if n equal to zero then what the processor will do is it the processor returns to step one immediately after step four okay so in case if n is equal to one then step five is performed to load a new value into the pc thus performing the branch operation okay so if n equal to 0 the processor will return to step 1 else that is if n is equal to 1 then step 5 is performed to load a new value into the pc by uh, thus it is going to perform the branch operation okay so this is about branch instructions thank you for watching